YouTube, this is the white guy. Hopefully this video is looking fine, because for whatever reason, DX Tori, like the first 20 seconds or whatever video just kind of fucks itself up and it's all laggy and shitty. So hopefully if it is like that, because right now it's saying it's recording at 60 frames a second and the game's running at 60 frames a second, but I feel like it's not actually doing that. So if it is doing that, just wait like 10 seconds, it should go away. Don't know why. Hopefully if it, hopefully I, like I, I started the recording and waited about a minute before I actually started... I should have clipped about a minute of recording out, and hopefully that's enough time for the lag with everything to go away. But this is Qu Crank Wads National V2, I believe. Uh, it looks sexy as fuck, and we're on the neon quad skin that somebody made. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Billy, P no, not Billy P, uh, Mod Monkey, I believe, made this neon quad skin. So why I'm on the quads, because somebody made custom quad skins, and if you're going to do that, I'm probably going to use the quads. And speaking of that, would you guys like me to use the quads more often in videos? Let me, whoa, okay, apparently I cut the track there, you can't cut that. Would you guys like me? To, would you guys like to see me on quads more often? Let me know about that one. I actually don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to get back into using them out. These custom skin. This, this custom skin. Not these. There's one custom skin that came out for quads. I'm starting to use them again. This national is fits fun as I. That's that's the issue with quads leak. Like you can land stuff like that. It looks like it's perfectly smooth and just bucks you off the quad. And they're actually very difficult to get fast lap times on. So it's a good challenge if you haven't used one yet and you want a challenge. Try using it. But let me know if you guys like to see me on these more often, or not at all, or just completely get rid of the quads, don't use them, or just use them more often in videos, because I, I feel like it's something different, it'll shake it up a bit if I use quads, and it makes me a little bit more different for them not using bikes in this game. Because it, it is versus ATV, of course, and nobody ever uses, really uses the ATVs, because they are fucking impossible to use in this game, they're really hard. Like, you've got a whip glitch like everything to be able to make it, and it's just very precarious situation with these. But this Nationals, it, it's, I'm, I like this track a lot. It's very, fun. it's a very, very fun track. I forgot the name of the guy that made it, so I apologize about that. It's like Qu Crank Wads version two, I believe. Out Crank Wads, Crack Word. It's either cr a Crack Word. It's either Crack Word or Crack Wad. I don't remember the title of the video. Will be correct. I don't know why I'm trying to debate that right now. But it, there's all, obviously it's like there, it almost feels like the Rubicon sort of the Jamie T makes with the way the jumps and whatnot are. It's just. It's a very, very fun track, as I almost eat shit and die. Watch the... That's death. You gotta be careful with the berms on these quads. Like, the way you, you gotta reel these berms, you almost gotta, like, lock the... Off to I'll also show you, like, the way you get berms on quads is just... It's the, like, especially with ruts like that, it's just weird and hard to do. Ooh, we got some rollers right here. It's gonna power through these. And here we go. Like, you gotta... You gotta kinda... Ooh, nope, nope, never mind. That was wrong. Don't take my advice on how to do the little ruts like that, because it's obviously not right when I'm rolling and getting hit by my own vehicle at a high rate of speed. Get on the brakes, over that, and nice through this turn here. Get careful not to go over that, that little rut right there or we will die, and across the finish line, there we go. Probably not going to do all eight laps, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, stuff like that, just, it's very particular about how you land on quad, so probably close out this lap and I'll cut back in on a bike to do some to do a couple laps on a bike so you get an idea of what this track's gonna be like. And speaking of that, there's another thing. Would you guys like me to use like a quad for a bit of the video and then use the bike and like switch between them in the same video, switch between quads and bikes or like do separate videos of each track for it's good for a quad and a bike if the track's good and deserves multiple videos, let me know. But I, I feel like I have to I wanna at least use this quad in some videos because the guy made a pretty awesome fucking skin for it. And you guys should go check out the skin if I can remember to link the skin for the quad in the description you should go check it out. But I wanted to use it some, at least. And there we go. I was uh, almost eating shit right there. So we rail that burn pretty nicely. Get over. There we go. He's going to case that a little bit. But that's, he's gonna, you're going to be casing stuff on the quad. It's actually very difficult to clear stuff. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to like, slide it up on two wheels here through these turns. If I can do it, it's very hard to do, though. I'm going to get it up on two wheels for you in style. But uh, there's a nice little double right here. Oh, actually, I know it's a single. I lied. Hey, it didn't go over the berm there. Nice. And I believe this is a double. Nope, nope, nope that's a step up. These flat, all these flat track corners, the quad should actually have some sort of advantage through flat track corners like that. At least they should. In reality, they would, but I don't know if they actually will in this game or not. On the brakes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I almost saved that. Thought I saved it for a minute, but apparently not. Let's... Over this little double right there, it's actually a lot more than a little double. And into the mud section, I guess that's supposed to be mud. Tap that berm a bit. Keep leaning back to try and keep weight in the back wheel so we can get some power through. And there we go, it's a nice big, nice big tabletop. 
There we go. That's that's how you get them. You have to. It's like the way you rail berms with quads like that or ruts like that. I guess it doesn't really. I don't know if you call it berms or ruts, but there's there's a weird way you gotta try and hit them. Through the rollers. Power through. Power through. Power through. Power through. Brakes. 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 Grab that inside. I'll try the clutch. I tapped it there, but I feel like the clutch doesn't. I feel like you're a lot better off just slamming on the gas and not touching the clutch in this game. Oh, we almost cut that corner a bit too short there. That was really close. And across the finish line. Let's throw a backflip in. Or not. I can actually land the finish line jump once. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to cut out right now and I'll cut back in on the bike. What's up, YouTube? I am back. I almost we'll started another video, but we're on the bike right now. I guess I'll throw down one quick lap on the bike to see how different it is. Hopefully, DX Tori is not doing the laggy thing like it does when I start recording with it for whatever reason. Hopefully, it's looking okay. I'm trying to get back into using DX Tori because it's just a lot easier, but if it works, it's a lot easier, but a lot of the time it does not want to work. We'll just throw one lap down on the bike here, I guess, and get some comparative lap times. I already forgot my lap times on the quad were, but you guys probably watch. You guys watching the video can probably remember the lap time was. If you can't remember, you can probably just scroll back and check, so we'll see how much faster I am on the bike, because the bike's got to be it's feeling faster a lot already, because I'm actually clearing jumps, believe it or not, and ooh, we almost watched, yeah, I watched that turn. If you cut that too short, you'll go off track and get reset, and you'll probably roll over and die. Oh, that berm grabs you really nice on the bike. Yeah, this track's a lot better on bikes. Throw a nice little taunt over the big double. There we go. That, these berms grab you really well. It's like, well done, man. Jeez. Throw a nice little whip over there. And what do we got? A big, nice sweeping turn. Get the weight on the outside peg. And then a nice sweeping turn. This track, I'm liking this track. This is a very, very good track. I like this a lot. Nice little single right there. You gotta slow down and, whoa, spinning 360s. Ah, yes. we Slow down and whoa, spinning. Like, slow that one down. If I can remember to, we have to slow that 360 down because that was a pretty badass 360 I just threw right there. I've got to say, probably will not be able to do that again, even if I'm trying to. Hopefully, I remember to slow, go back and slow that 360 down because it's pretty badass, if I'm not going to lie. And there we go. Roll through there. And hopefully, we can get through. There we go. And through the mud. Oh, that rut grabs you so well. You can just like power through all of this. I'll try and throw a backflip over this jump because I think it's I think this jump's big enough to throw a backflip on. Yes, just the right height for a backflip. Let off the gas a bit through that corner. Off the gas, on the gas, wash out a bit. That's unfortunate. So I was having a good lap, but it's this lap's already much faster than the lap on the quad was. So I'm not too worried about that. And single out, get on the brakes, grab that inside. Nope, we're alive, we're going to the outside. I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. This little tabletop right there, keep the wheels down and scrub! Thank you! Yay. Oh, cut that corner a bit too short, got wreck avoided for tapping the barriers. I'll probably throw down for a second lap here. Over that finish line, through a nice big old taunt, and there we go. Let's keep the power through. Launch it deep. There we go. And hopefully that road grabbed me. Nope, that road grabbed me. The second one will. The first one ain't got my back, but the second one does. Try and throw a whip glitch over there to actually make it to the next down slope, but we didn't make it, unfortunately. That's all good, though. We're, 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 we're good. I'm gonna laugh if I still beat the other lap time. This track is... It's cr it's Crack Words, by the way. I looked. I checked the file name after I, when I was switching to the bike. It's Crack Words is what the name of the track is. So now that's been sorted out, we can try and send another backflip. Nope, or not. Okay, we'll go for the outside line this time. I think the inside there's faster if you can stay on it. Yeah, the out inside is definitely faster if you can stay on it. Did not need to whip glitch there. Yeah, through there, nice. Through here, keep on the gas, and let's try. I wonder if I can throw another 360 over this, or if that's just like a, that was just a one-time thing. Oh no, that's not just a one-time thing. If you do that, you can just throw 360s across that all day long. That's interesting. If you, if you hit the brakes at just the right time, you can just fling 360s across there, probably. So let's. I guess I'll close up this lap here in another minute, and I'll be done with this track for now until I probably play it again later. And hopefully, let's go for the inside on the brakes. Those, those berms just grab you so well. Very difficult to hit on the quad, but very nice to hit on the bike. And let's try to throw another backflip over this one, because I believe this jump was like the perfect size last time I tried to throw a backflip. 
And, yep, that's pretty much the perfect size thing for a very buttery smooth backflip. These berms, if you, do, if you hit these berms just right, you'll be a very quick turn through there. If you don't, you're gonna lose a lot of speed and lose a lot of time. But if you do hit them right, they're very nice berms right there. Double, double, and single. Let's go for the middle line. Nope, we're going for the outside. Nope, we're going for the way outside of the line. And, again, that's that little thing right there casing that jump is intentional because you keep the wheels on the ground, you can accelerate more. It's a little scrub over there. Go for the inside. And that's probably going to do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Stay sexy. Subscribe for more. See you guys later.